It is another brand new week and welcome to another brand new episode of our weekly devotion with yours truly. <laughs> Question, are you waiting for your big breakthrough? Well, if you are, I hope to encourage you with our devotion this week. Well, David was waiting for his breakthrough too, because remember, as a young lad, he was anointed by the prophet of the day and that he's going to be the future king of Israel. I just know what runs through his mind. You know, if it was me, I'm going to be the future king of Israel. From now onwards, my life will be full of grandiose. I have all the best food and all the servants will be there to serve me. But it was not for David. His dad dismissed him and, and then, you know, put him to serve, uh, here, serve in the field as a little shepherd boy, tending to sheep, talking to sheep. Man, don't go there, come here. <laughs> While he's playing his harp and all. And he was also a delivery boy. Way before Uber is grab delivery and uh, go check food delivery and all that david was the very first food delivery boy you know every time his father bake uh bake and cook for his older brothers he will ask this young lad david bring all this food to your brothers his brothers were all serving uh, in the army of israel and they were fighting the philistines and so he went to the front line you know and del deliver the food uh, to his brothers as told by his dad to do so and um, one of those deliveries that he made, he saw something strange that was going on in the front line. You know, the um, the soldiers of Israel seems to be frozen, frozen with fright. And then he looked across the valley. He saw this big giant. His name is Goliath. You know, taunting the Israelites. Come, you cowards, come and fight me! And 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 everyone in Israel, including the king, you know, was frightened. There was nobody there to fight this giant. And they David then went to his brothers and said, Hey, what's wrong? That guy's too big. I cannot miss him. I will go and fight him. His older brother Eliab then told him, You, you, you are a troublemaker and you are here to create trouble. You know, what happened to the sheep that you're dead with? It's as though to remind him that, hey, he's a nobody and to embarrass him in front of all the other soldiers that he's just a poor little shepherd boy. And then he... David, nonetheless, you know, uh, was not uh, perturbed by it. And he went to the king and said, that I can deal with this guy. And the king was laughing. What, you little boy? <laughs> and, but David was insisting. And Saul, I suppose, think that there's nothing to lose except the life of this young little boy. Okay, you want to go, you go, you know. And David went and fought Goliath and he won. And thereafter, David became famous. That was his first breakthrough. You see, what we do while waiting is as important as the breakthrough itself. And you know, while we cannot control most of the circumstances around us, especially right now during the pandemic, we have no way to control all the situations that is going on. But we can control what we do while we wait for that breakthrough. Hey, there are four things that we can do while we wait. Number one, hey, when the doors are isn't open yet to take this time to hone your skills david honed his skills while waiting and so he practiced his swing you know and he fought the lions and the bears and when he saw goliath hey i fought the lions and the bears what is this guy you see while we are waiting take this time to learn and to perfect your skills and be good at what you do right at the same time as you hone your skills always always open your eyes for opportunities you see when david went to deliver the food to his brothers he saw an opportunity his eyes was open this is this, this is an opportunity. I killed lions, I killed bears, you know, to protect my sheep. This guy is no problemo. You know, I can deal with this. You know, so be open for opportunities. You know, the, the worst Goliath is not the giants that, that are out there. The biggest Goliath, Goliath in our life is actually ourselves. You know, sometimes we don't feel that confidence. We don't feel that we have the courage to take on the opportunity that was presented before us. And at the same time, we also need to be patient and to persevere. You know, we need to hone our skills, perfect our craft, improve what we do, open our eyes for opportunities, be patient for the right one to come, persevere, don't give up, and then you have to expect opposition. Yeah. So the biggest big breakthrough comes when there is 
and there are oppositions because nothing is going to present to you on the platter. You have to expect opposition and you have to fight for it. I have always been comfortable, you know, while in Asia, especially in Singapore. Then five years ago, God, you know, put plant the thought in my mind to relocate to the U.S. And uh, that was it. I, you know, packed my bags, went to the U.S. and hit an agency that runs orphanages all over the world. It, it will be, yeah, it will, it will be no no problem, you know. I can always go to the church there to teach in the institution and, you know, no problem like what I'm doing here. But that's not to be so, you know. Uh, I was knocking on doors and <laughs> on churches and say, "Hey, this is Fred. You know, can I come to your church and share something about what we do?" Fred, who? What do you do, Fred? Who? And knock on doors and uh, institution. Hey, can I teach here? You know, <laughs> they was like, "Fred, who?" It was like for a year and a half, there was no doors that were open to us. But I took that time to hone my skills to make sure that when the opportunities come, you know, my presentation is going to kill it. And I was waiting and a small church opened to me, another church opened to me. And then a friend who was teaching um, leadership uh, training program invited me to co-teach with him. I did so. And then more institutions were open uh, to me. The doors were open to me for me to teach and big churches now began to open and I had breakthrough uh, you know teaching preaching in these uh, larger churches the stage gets bigger and bigger and I even had the opportunity to speak in this uh, you know this renowned center called Smoky Mountain Center for the Performing Arts you know wow I was one of the keynote speaker in a major event it's like whoo whoo as you go about your week, remember while you are waiting for your breakthrough, hope, H-O-P-E, hope. Number one, hone your skills, improve, improve yourself, you know, upgrade yourself, make sure that you are good enough, better than your previous self, right? And number two, be open for opportunities. Number three, be patient, be persevering, don't give up. Number four, expect opposition. Expect opposition. You know, nobody is going to give you your breakthrough on the platter. Expect and fight your way through. God bless you. Have a good weekend.